Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheyenne and you are watching Shy TV. Today's video is going to be about um, my tattoos. So I don't have that many. I have eight. Or some people may say seven, but I say eight because they're different. But um, yeah, so... I just figured I'd just come and explain all the tattoos why I got them because all of my tattoos have some sort of sentimental meaning to me. I feel like once I get to a certain point, I'm just going to say, you know, whatever and just start getting random ones because, you know, after you have so many, it's just like, okay. So I'm going to explain each one and yeah. So my very first tattoo I got when I was 18, um, I got it when I was going into college, like right before college, because I really, really, really wanted one, and I wanted it for like two years before, and my parents never allowed me, like my mom doesn't have tattoos, my dad has tattoos, but my dad was like, no, blah, 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 and I'm like, you have tattoos, so why can't I have tattoos? So, it's a elephant because elephants are my favorite animal i think they're so majestic they're beautiful creatures they're wise you know stand for all that good stuff and then my grandmother on my mother's side passed away and her favorite el her favorite animal was elephants and i just figured it would be a way for me to like just connect to her and i chose to get um an elephant dressed in like in, I don't want to say Indian attire, but like Indian apparel, you know how like for parades or however, um, like other traditional things that they do, they have like the headdresses and all those things. Like that's what my elephant has um, with the beads and stuff. And also in the elephant's trunk, it's holding um, lilacs, which was my grandmother's favorite flowers. So I have that. I'm sorry. Pasta was all good. I have one right here. And this is my um, parents' anniversary date. And I just feel like I owe so much to them. So I was like, let me get them near and dear to my heart. And I wasn't about to put it on my chest. So I was just like, okay. And their anniversary is Christmas Eve. And that's why I got the um, ink and red. It's 1224. I was like, oh, that's cute. I showed my mom it and she was like, why'd you get that? I was just like, dang, I thought you would have been like, oh my gosh, like, uh. but since she's not into tattoos, she was just like, oh, why'd you get that, Cheyenne? So, oh, also, let me mention who did my tattoo. Okay, so my very first tattoo was done by Jacob. He's done all my big pieces. I love him to death. Um, his name is Jacob Planet Inc. off of Cobb Parkway if you live in Georgia. So this one was done by um, Presley Tatted and he worked, he has a shop in Atlanta. I think he just opened a new shop actually, but I can insert his Instagram and he has a shop in Atlanta and he works at a Athens too. Um, yeah, so I have some on my arm. I have two on my arm. This is the Peony. And that's a quote. So the quote says, I must have flowers forever and all. What the freak? I don't even know what the quote says. It says, I must have flowers always and always. And I just have so many flowers tattooed on me. And I love flowers. Like, ugh, they just bring me so much happiness. Like when I get flowers, when I see flowers. Except for them nasty, like, stink. Oh, flowers that but other than that I love flowers like oh they just bring me so much joy so, so I got that and it's a quote by my favorite painter Claude Monet and Presley did that one too I got that one and I got um oh I don't know why my armpit this one my Claude Monet at the same time and I got these two last year in June I believe because he was having like a two for a hundred was it fifty? It was fifty dollar small tattoos, I believe. Might have been twenty five. But he does specials, like their shop does specials, so I'll definitely put his information. But okay, so back to my peony, peony, 
People think it's a rose. It's not a rose. Okay, so Jacob did this as well. And this is actually a cover-up. So what happened was I went to this shop in Athens. And it's called like Midnight Armadillo. Do not get tattoos in Athens for real. Like, I don't suggest it. Some are really good, but, or they're overpriced or janky. But, okay, so, Midnight, Igu Midnight Iguana. That's where I went, okay. So, I originally, it was supposed to be something cute and dainty because I was like, I don't want anything big on my arm because I want to be on television as, like, a career. Like, I want to be in broadcasting. So, I was like, let me keep it simple. So, it probably was dumb to even get one on my inside my arm anyways. So, I got um, two at the same time again. I got, um, it was a serotonin molecule, and serotonin, a lot of you don't, may not know, is a molecule in your body that attributes to happiness. So, happiness just happens to be, like, something I'm, like, really, uh, passionate, driven by, whatever. So, I was like, oh, let me get that. So, I got that. It looks like, it looked like a fifth grader drew it, okay? So, it's crazy because... My friend went before me. She was a deciding factor if I was going to get it. And her tattoo looked perfect. And it was bigger than mine. So I'm like, what is going on with this man doing it? And I'm so dumb because I went and got my ankle done too. Right after I did this and I didn't look at the tattoo. That's why I messed up. I should have looked at the tattoo before. Because it was really bad. Like it was bleeding. And like when tattoos bleed... So, basically, it's just, like, it just looks like it's smeared and nasty, and that's what the tattoo looked like. It, oh, no, no, no. When it was blown out. That's what it's called, when the tattoo's blown out. It, so, it's not, like, defined, um, Chris lines. It literally looks like somebody smeared your tattoo. That's how mine looked. So, he did this, and it was actually supposed to be bigger than this, but I was just, like, I can't do it. Yeah. Like, this took two hours and it was like this the sketching the shading and then the color and it hurt I'm not gonna lie and my arm was swollen like I could go like you know how you go like this for the first time my arm looked like it's not moving but you go like oh there it go like this but it literally was like two times bigger than normal and it was just so big I like playing with it though but it was so big because it was um just swollen from the tattoo it was totally worth it i love it now um the colors are gorgeous so i have one on the back of my ankle and it says freedom is a state of mind and i just think it's really it's like kind of deep um don't ever let your current situations like bind you hold you back it's always gonna be like if you let's see how how do I explain this? I just feel like it goes all the way back to like slavery legit because you know ankle on my is like on my ankle shackles they no matter what you're going through don't, never let those situations take over like your thought process in your mind so that's why I have freedom as a state of mind um so I have another tattoo on my other ankle. Okay, it's a lotus flower and lotus flowers are one of the only or the only flowers that bloom and out like the mud literally. So I got this because I just like the representation of a lotus flower like through the darkest times even beauty can still grow in the darkest situations. So like there's always a brighter side to things and I don't remember the name of the shop, but my girl, Amy, did this tattoo. This is one of the most detailed tattoos I have on my, I think, the one of the most realistic. So many people thought it was like clip art or clip art, fake, um, when I first got it. But, yeah, I wish I could recommend her to y'all, but she's like somewhere in North Carolina. Yeah. It took her like 30 minutes to do it and it's so detailed. I love it so much. Well, I have, um, okay, I was being a punk and I got a tattoo basically on my butt. It, it's not my butt. It's like my hip, butt, thigh area, okay, but people say my butt is kind of on my butt. But it's not really on my butt, but it's on my butt. So, it's a Socrates quote. 
and it's kind of long for me to have gotten it's kind of long for me to have gotten where I got it and it says it's really deep too all my stuff is like really deep it says you see no 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 it says the secret to happiness you see is not in developing more but in oh no 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 okay hold on it's the secret to happiness you see is not in okay hold on oh, lord it's so long okay so it says the secret to happiness you see is not in seeking more but in developing the capacity to enjoy less ain't that a word like even though i couldn't like it took me forever to think of that but um i really love that because like joy and happiness and all those things come it's like usually from the simple things and you just have to learn how to enjoy those things in life like it's the little things that count literally it's just little things okay and I just love that and I saw that quote and I was like oh that's so me the year before last I treated myself to a tattoo happy birthday ha huh? and I got roses I love roses I just love everything about roses roses are basic I'm basic, okay? And roses are my mother's favorite flower. And I was just like, you know what? Mine as well. So I got some ta um, roses tattooed on me and was like, bam. It's you, mom. But I guess the placement of where I got them. Because it's like on my thigh-ish area. And it's just like weird that I got them for my mom in that area it's just kind of like okay but I had good intentions behind it I want a ton of more tattoos like I have ideas but I'm gonna kind of like chill out because tattoos are expensive and I went back and evaluating and evaluated how much I actually spent on tattoos and it's like ooh, I did this and this and this short of time I could use that money for this this and that but I mean once you get one it's like they're addicting and whoever says tattoos aren't addicting they're lying because tattoos are very addicting I never thought I would have this many by now and I'm like I want a whole sleeve I'm not gonna get a whole sleeve but I'm like I want a whole sleeve so I'm trying to find ways to get a sleeve I'm like I want a leg sleeve probably not gonna do that either but when getting tattoos I definitely suggest researching what you want to do and finding a reliable and creative artist and I think I say creative because like okay a lot of people go to like Pinterest and Google or whatever for their tattoos ideas just cuz but you want a tattoo artist who is gonna like not just I mean if you wanted them fine but you want somebody who's gonna basically oh I do I wanted somebody who who's gonna like take the tattoo and make it your own okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed my tattoos okay um i will put all of the artist information in the description box below if i can remember all of it if not i'll put the shop their names stuff like that um yeah if you have any questions or anything about tattoos let me know thanks again for watching another one of my videos um yeah like comment and subscribe to your girl okay and i need to start saying this hit the little ding ding notification bell so when i post a video you can be the first one to see about it okay so thanks again and i'll see you guys later bye this is so cheesy bye all right bye